Hello everyone, this is going to be a tarot reading for the sign of a Virgo for May 2021. So first I'm going to do a spread for those of you who are involved, then another one for the singles, uh, afterwards a spread for your money matters, and at the end I'm going to make three piles with three different messages that you can choose from to see what your surprise is going to be this month. All right, so let's start with the Virgos who are involved. Please tell me about the Virgos who are involved. Virgo in love in the month of May. The Virgos who are involved. What's the situation right now? Virgo in love. What's the situation right now for Virgo? right <clears throat> so you're, you're having some issues here with someone uh in uh in uh the love department i think there has been an argument here um in this relationship i do think that maybe there's a lot of passion here involved and things got um maybe too heated at some point one of you uh, it, it might very well have been them because they're showing up as a fire sign energy. Uh, so they might be a fire sign or if they're not, there's someone with um, a lot of energy, um, someone ambitious, a go-getter, the kind of person who moves very fast and know what they want. But, you know, some people, sometimes people like that can be impulsive. Uh, and they might overreact and I, that's what I'm seeing here there might have been some overreactions and some arguments uh, caused uh, because of that although there is love here there definitely is love here uh, between the two of you uh, you've got the lover's card here but um, yeah I don't I think there was an issue where you didn't see eye to eye um, and, uh, maybe one of you just, you know, came across a bit too harsh with the other. All right. So let's see, how does this person see you? How does this person see Virgo? Please tell me, how does this person see Virgo? All right, so they see you as indecisive. Um, you're thinking about something. You're daydreaming about something. You're thinking of, you're making some plans. And that's what make, is making you stuck. Analysis, paralysis, you know. Um, and, and this person knows this. This person knows you're thinking about something else. Maybe even someone else, because it is also a card of options in love. If that's the case, Virgo, uh, and you know, you're, you're thinking about, you've got some fantasies about being with someone else, then this person you're with right now, the one I'm reading for, absolutely knows about this. You know, if you thought they don't know, they do. Um, but in any case, you've got options here, whatever it is, um, several people or I don't know, several directions to go towards and, um, you're indecisive because of that. And this person knows that this person knows you're weighing out all of these options and, you know, these, um, uh, opportunities that you're thinking about and, um, they, they know you're putting everything, uh, on the scale and weighing uh, them out to see uh, which one would be the most appropriate for you. All right, let's see how does this person feel about you? What are this person's feelings towards Virgo? How does this person feel towards Virgo? Okay, so... Mm, they're not giving in to this anymore because they don't think it's fair. They know you're indecisive, Virgo. So that's the, that's why they're like, hey, if you're not putting anything in here, I'm not uh, into this relationship. I'm not doing it either. 
for for whatever reason they are withdrawing for you and they feel like they have to withdraw for you because that's the right thing to do and that is what would be fair okay it's also possible that this person isn't going to budge until you offer them an apology okay the justice card could also be a card of apology of making things right and since there was an argument between the two of you here in the past it's possible that um you know they're they they feel like they want to hold back from you until you make it right to to them for whatever it is that happened in the past okay i'm not saying you were the one to blame uh virgo i'm just saying that's how they see it okay um they they know something has to be you know a reconciliation has to happen and someone needs to uh make amends for whatever it is that happened but it's not going to be them they're like nope it's not me it's not me doing that i'm going to just hold back i'm not putting anything into this <laughs> all right so uh let's see what are their intentions towards you what are this person's intentions towards virgo What are this person's intentions towards Virgo? Ooh. Yeah, this person isn't is very hurt by this situation. Um, but although they're hurting so much, it's it's like they don't want to do anything about it. And, um, you know what, I'm under the strong impression that if this connection passes this person by, they're just going to let it happen. Although they are emotionally involved in this connection. Uh, now they're showing up as a water sign. So you might be dealing with uh, the, the person you're dealing with might be a, a water sign um, or, or a fire sign. Okay. But in any case, it just f shows their energy that they're emotionally invested into this uh, um, relationship. But um, th they don't want to express their feelings. They don't want to express anything towards you. As I said, if you decide to break up with this person, they're just going to go with it. If you decide to not resume this connection with them or yeah they're not going to do anything about it let's see the outcome what's going to happen in the future between virgo and this person by the end of may what's going to happen between these two between virgo and this person hmm I see you two waiting on the other. You're going to be waiting for them. They're going to be waiting for you. <laughs> okay? And neither of you is going to do anything. Both of you are going to stand firm. And you see these two queens here looking at each other. And with distance between the two of them. I think there's going to be a period of distance between the two of you after this argument, this fallout that you had over there, where neither of you is opening up. When this person is uh, very passive and you are just thinking about, hey, what other options do I have? It's like neither of you is willing to invest anymore into this connection. All right. Uh, in the outcome, they show up as um, female energies. Um, it doesn't matter what gender you are. It's a general general reading. But now I'm picking up on an air sign too. Uh, apart from these water signs, it, it really, the sign doesn't matter. It just shows the energies. The fact that um, I think this is you. The Queen of Swords represents you. You have your guard up. You know what you want. You want to cut out the bullshit. Uh, in your life whereas this person is here in their emotions in the blues but not doing anything about it okay so uh, yeah i think there's going to be a period of um of just simply you know waiting around and, not, and neither of you doing anything 
Let's see what the, these other cards have to say. Please tell me about Virgo. What additional messages can you give me for Virgo? What's going on here? What more can you tell me for Virgo in love? What's going on in this connection? Again, I'm seeing that argument, Virgo. I think it was an argument over text. I don't even think it was face to face. Um, and it's something that happened out of the blue. Um, I don't know, one of you, what I, I'm seeing most here is that one of you overreacted. Um, and uh, that, that led to a, a big argument between the two of you. And I think the other one was caught um, off guard. And I think the other one didn't react well either. And they said, you know, they didn't think things through when they gave an answer. They did it on impulse and that made matters worse. Okay. Let's see what these other cards have to add. Please tell me about Virgo. What more can you add to this story? Virgo in love. What more can you tell me about this? Virgo in love. Okay, so you know what? Eventually, you're going to find your path, so to say. Because um, you, I saw you here with these many options here with the Seven of Cups. And this is appearing again here uh, for you with uh, the Crossroad. Uh, this is, uh, uh, again, a card of options, a card of, you know, having several alternatives that you can choose from. But with the key right next to it, you are eventually going to find the right answer. You are eventually going to find out the uh, also the information that you need in order to go down the right path because with the moon card here uh there might be some things in uh, in uh this uh equation that you don't even know about or you are simply confused about in general there's a state of confusion and uh, of the unknown around this relationship but virgo you are going to receive clarity of mind perhaps this is why you're showing up as the key, uh, the queen uh, the Queen of Swords here in uh, the outcome because, uh, you know, this is a card that um, signifies someone who is very objective and uh, they've got a clear mind and they know what they want. Yeah, well, uh, I have to tell you that uh, by the end of this month, I do think that you are going to have clarity um, and um, you're going to find out um, these things that you needed uh to find out and that is what is going to help you choose the right path for you all right so that was the reading for those of you who are who are involved um i hope it was help you uh, helpful um i hope you got some insight from it please give this video a like if you liked the reading uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and now let's do another spread for the Virgos who are single. Please tell me about the Virgos who are single. Who's coming towards the Virgos who are single in the month of May? In May 2021, who's coming towards the Virgos who are single with love? Okay, so <laughs> you've got this other, this guy coming up again. It's the same person, the King of Wands that showed up in the, in, uh, in the other reading. So very likely a fire sign person. Uh, again, uh, an emotional connection here, a, a love connection. This person does have feelings for you. you. You probably do have feelings for them as well. But there's indecision here. Okay, for those of you who are not dealing with anyone, uh, a similar energy to the one uh, I did earlier, for the, uh, to the um, reading I did earlier, is coming towards you as well, yeah? If you're single and not involved with anyone, 
expect this kind of person to show up in your life a, a, a go-getter uh, someone who is ambitious someone who has very high energy and mo moves from uh, place to place there's definitely potential here for a uh, romance between the two of you but someone is indecisive uh, and I think that's you you're weighing out on things uh, for some reason this person doesn't entirely fit your standards so let's see how do they see you how does this person see Virgo how does this person see Virgo all right they see as hmm you know what they see you as trouble Virgo for whatever reason they think you're displaying some sort of um Toxic behavior, perhaps you're too possessive, mm, you're too controlling, and maybe you even have some bad habits, mm, whatever it is, uh, this person sees you as a burden and sees being with you as a burden. Or if it's not you, the one with the problem, they just see the context of you being together as problematic. Uh, you know, um, maybe there are some entanglements there in uh, in your situation, or maybe you know, just something as easy as um, uh, you live too far away from each other, or whatever. But um, it see this person sees this connection with you as troublesome for whatever reason. Let's find out more. What are their intentions towards you? What are this person's intentions towards a Virgo? What are this person's intentions? Okay, so um, they want to make you an invitation. Um, quite possibly, might they might even want to buy you something like a gift or simply an invitation where they have to pay. And they're reluctant to do that. It doesn't sit well with you that they have to spend money on this. Uh, it doesn't s sit well with them that they have to spend money on this. Um, I don't know, Virgo. Not really getting good vibes from this person. I can't really say that this person is that much into you. I think you might be more into them that, than uh, they are into you. Because see, they're even apprehensive about making you this invitation, giving you, making this offer. Either if it's, you know, they want to take you out or they have to buy you a gift or whatever. Um, they don't even want to do that. All right, let's see the outcome. What's going to happen in the future by the end of May between Virgo and this person? What's going to happen? between Virgo and this person by the end of May. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they are going to pay up. They are going to take you up, out or buy you this. But they're hiding the fact that they're having some money problems here. This is probably why they were apprehensive here. Because they're like... Oh, I don't know if I can afford this. And this is why they, they have the two of uh, pentacles here. This person that you're dealing with, Virgo, has serious money problems that they're not telling you about. Somehow, eventually, they are going to get the money uh, to be able to pay for this. But just so you know, what they're not telling you is that there, there are financial problems here. This is probably why they saw this connection as a burden and so on because um um it would be too expensive for them they they cannot afford a relationship right now okay the, maybe the devil card here even signifies the fact that they have a lot of debt because it's also a card of debt and they're like how can i afford a relationship when i have so much debt to pay okay so um yeah just so you know you're dealing with someone who has financial problems where you go let's find out what more uh can we get from these cards please tell me more about virgo the virgos who are single what more can you tell me what can you add to this
All right, so there's going to be a um, get together between you and, and them. And for uh, for sure, they're going to be lucky enough to be able to afford this date, this, um, I don't know, whatever it is. It might even be, as I said, a, 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 a context in which they would have to buy you something, uh, either a gift or, I don't know, they just simply have to come towards you, towards the, in your house with something, okay, with something that they bought. Uh, so they are going to be lucky enough to, to be able to afford this. It's possible that there's an older man who is giving them this money, or another man or an institution and they might even you know take uh, a, a, buy something on credit okay uh, and the institution is a bank I uh, that's what I mean uh, but expect a visit you are going to see each other you and this uh, this person um, and and it's going to be nice you know uh, between uh, between the two of you all right, let's see what these cards have to say. What more can you add to this for Virgo? For Virgo. What more can you add to this? Oh, it's possible that this person is going through a divorce. Or um, they have some they have some commitments. They have some commitments that are really problematic um, for them. And you know what? Again, I'm getting this card, the clouds. This is a card that shows sneaky behavior, just like this one. Seven of Swords. Whatever it is in their life that's giving them headaches and causing them problems, uh, they're not telling you about it or they're not telling you the full story. Okay? But I definitely see here either a, a divorce, an ending of a relationship, or something along those lines. Uh, but it does come with the cloud, so maybe they, they, they're not even telling you they're, they're going through a separation or that the fact that they have to pay child support, let's say, if, uh, if they have a child. They have some expenses they're not telling you about, that's for sure. So, um, I don't know, Virgo, be wary of this person because, um, yeah, they're not really the most honest uh, person. So, mm, try to find out more about the, them before you get too much involved. All right, so that was the reading. I hope it was uh, helpful. Please give this video a like if uh, you liked it and if you thought it helped. Now, let's go on and do a spread for your money matters. So, please tell me about Virgo. Virgo in May, in terms of their money. Please tell me about Virgo in May, in terms of their money matters. Give me four cards. Their situation, their challenge, their advice, and the outcome for Virgo in terms of their money matters. Okay, so this one flipped out while I was shuffling and it also came out first. So, mm, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Very bad cards in the beginning, but you end with a good one. So, I think that for the time being, in the middle of the month, you have it rough financially, Virgo. But it's going to get better by the end of the month, okay? And going into June. Going into June, you're actually going to have prosperity and you're going to be able to afford the things that you want. But right now, ooh, yeah, um, things are not, not good at all. And um, it's possible that you might have had some unexpected expenses. They, the tower shows up in the challenge here for you. And this is something that comes into your life unexpectedly and uh, shake things up, um, shakes things up. Um, so it, it, you might have had some unexpected, I don't know, uh, spending expense. Um, something might have happened and it left you like this, like completely shattered. Like, oh no, this, this, this event has destroyed me. What am I going to do? The advice uh, for you, uh, Virgo, is um, stay calm. Don't panic. It's going to solve itself. Okay? By the end of the month, your financial situation is going to get better. Yes, it's hard now. 
but um don't don't stress too much about it and really don't do anything about it okay just take it as it happened take it as it is and uh you're going to see that for um somehow by the end of the month you're going to get prosperity again okay so uh, that was it for the spread about your money matters now let's do another one with these cards so I'm going to make three piles with three different messages that you can choose from. So please tell me about Virgo. Virgo in the month of May. What more can you tell me about Virgo in the month of May? Please give me three messages for three different groups of Virgos. So this is group number one. Group number two and group number three. So go ahead and meditate a bit on the cards and pick one using your intuition. All right, so the ones who have chosen the first group, all right, I see a, a man and a woman here. Um, it's possible that the woman has um, light colored hair, whereas the man is a uh, brunette, okay, dark colored hair, dark colored uh, complexion, but the woman is on the lighter side. All right, so um, between these two, there are going to be some discussions. Um, if, if very possible, this person uh, might invite you to their house because I see this interaction going on in a house that is not yours. So you're either going to their house or you two together are going to someone else's house, okay? For a get together, for, you know, discussions. That's the only thing I see. I see there in, uh, in uh, I mean, not the only thing, but that's the main thing I see uh, going on, you know, discussions, talking, um, but it's, it's in someone else's house, okay? not not in yours and i do have the impression that you are going to meet um either either this person that's showing up here is someone new to you 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 haven't known uh, them by now or um the people uh there are going to be people there uh new people that um that uh, you're going to meet yeah so um I, I i think you're going to be a house guest a house guest in someone else's house virgo all right, so let's see the second group. Wow, what's going on here? We've got some problems in love here. Um, yeah, you know, you're, you're going to find out that um, your lover is not true. You're going to find out that there has been some deceptive behavior here. It's exactly what I saw in the other, uh, in the other um, spread, dishonesty basically dishonesty in love is what i see here and this dishonesty is going to cause you you know uh sadness of course uh when uh, when you you find out about it but i think that you are going to put in some effort to find this out and once you do you're actually going to find have this feeling of satisfaction that oh good thing i found out about this at least now i know okay so it's, it's it's not entirely bad at least you know what to expect uh all right and let's see for the third group all right so for you i see a journey going on here especially at daytime and it's as if you've been wanting to take this trip for a really long time you're going to receive an invitation to take this trip and to go to this place. Um, and you know what? Once, once you do, once you get this invitation, don't tell others about it because there might be some jealous people around you when you tell them, hey, I'm going on vacation or what, wherever it is that you're going. I see a long journey here. Okay, And this journey comes as a wish fulfillment for you. It's, like, it's, it's as if you've always wanted to go there or um you, you've been you know planning it for a long time um but for whatever reason once you get the news that um 
you 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 can go on uh, on this trip uh, i would advise you to not tell others about it because um there might be some jealousy around you because of that all right so that was it those were the messages from these cards now let's see what the messages from spirit are going to be so i'm going to pull out three messages and you're going to have to pick one so please tell me what does virgo need to hear in the month of may the first what does virgo need to hear in may the second and what does virgo need to hear the third so go ahead and pick one using your intuition all right so for the first message we've got thank you next <laughs> all right so uh maybe it's time to move on virgo maybe that person i saw earlier uh in the cards that showed up as dishonest maybe they're not the one for you so you know you're going to have this attitude of okay thank you thank you for being in my life i appreciate it now um it's time to move on all right now let's see the second message Every time I think of you, I have to remind myself that if you wanted to talk to me, you would. All right, so you know what, Virgo, you, we have to remind ourselves that when people want us in their lives, they make an effort for us. So this is what you needed to hear right now. If you feel that there's someone who isn't doing enough for you, uh maybe their priorities are elsewhere all right and let's see the third see your part in things okay so what about you virgo <laughs> what what part did you play in uh everything um that happened maybe it was something that you did something you said uh maybe there's something in the story that you have to learn uh from so um do a bit of uh thinking about it and see if there is anything that um you might want to change about your behavior let's say all right so that was it that was the reading i hope you enjoyed it i hope it um gave you some clarity um if it did please please uh give this video a like um subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to watch more of my videos uh, write me comments below because i always enjoy um reading them and seeing how uh, these um videos resonate with you i wish you good luck with your situation and i'll see you in my next videos bye for now